you guys would like to know how I did this makeup look, keep watching. I'm going to start off with some Soft Ochre by MAC. I'm going to use Inglot eyeshadow in the colour 450. I'm just going to wet my brush with some Fix Plus just to intensify the red. I'm then going to use Kiko's um, 208, I'm going to put this in the crease line. Paint the pot underneath my eyes as well. And put the same Inglot dark red and line my low lash line. I'm going to use a orange from my Inglot palette, which is a blush. This orange number 45, and I am going to just blend that on the lower part of this red. I'm going to redo this after I've done my concealer as well. But for now, it will do. I'm also going to put some in my crease line, just above the Kiko red, just to warm it up a bit. And bring a bit of dimension to the colour so it's not just so red. Even though that's the colour I'm going for. This is my new favourite black. It's Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil in Perversion. It is so black and it does not budge. So I'm going to line my waterline with this. Just line the lower lash line as well with this. I might concentrate some brown. Uh, this is Soap and Glory's Mud Honey. It comes in one of their quads and I just took it out of there. See if it comes up. I don't find the eyeshadow is very pigmented, unfortunately. I'm going to use Glam Eyes by Rimmel, liquid eyeliner. Lashes I'll be using are these, they are Demi Wispies and I've laid two of them together. So these are lashes that I chose, they're still drying. I'm not going to use foundation today, I'm going to use Nars Tinted Moisturiser. This colour was matched when I my natural skin tone before I get a tan and so I've still got a bit of a tan but I find that if I use a dark foundation it's darker than my neck so instead of me mixing up foundations just to get the colour I'm using a slightly lighter one but then darkening it with bronzer and contouring just to bring back some colour and I'm going to use NARS creamy concealer in ginger I'm going to go in with some of that Inglot Red, just right underneath the black liner. And then directly under that one, I'm going to use the um, Inglot Blush in the orange. I'm just going to quickly set my lower area of my eyes with some powder. 
just so that I can put some mascara on my lower lashes because I like to powder first. I'm going to use the Kiko uh, bronzer. I'm going to bring the colour back in. I'm going to finish off my eyebrows using my favourite NYX eyebrow kit in brunette. I'm going to use some of that white for my brow highlight first. I've really been into lightening my eyebrows lately, so I'm using MAC's Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in the colour Quiet Brunette. Only because my hair is so jet black and I'm going to go for a deep um, lip colour. I just want to lighten up my eyebrows so that it gives a bit of a softer look. And plus it keeps my eyebrows in place all day. Becca in the colour Opal, just on the tops of my cheekbones. I like powder for the winter when it comes to highlight and then I like to use liquid during the summer. Powder the rest of my face just to set everything in. And I use the Corn Silk Translucent Pressed Powder. And I only put this on places that I don't want to be shiny. I'm going to be using MAC Bespoken For Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil and Revlon's Black Cherry Lipstick. This is the finished makeup look. It's red on red. Well, red on really dark red. <laughs> I've got lots of colors, eight different shades. So I thought I'd go through them with you and maybe there's a color there that you might like. So I'm just gonna swatch them for you so you can see. The first one is the Revlon. This is Black Cherry. This is the one that I've got on today. So I'm just gonna swatch my hand so you can see the color. It's like a dark red, it's got lots of dark undertones in there and it's a proper like a mulberry red I would say. I've got a whole load of Avon ones and this one's called Smooth Plum. I haven't had the opportunity to wear this one yet. So this is a purple shade which is really nice. Power Plum which is another purple shade. It's slightly lighter. Bold Bordeaux, which I love. It's slightly darker, but it comes out much red. It's slightly, it's lighter than what I have on today, but it's got lots of red in there. I've then got matte grape. I love matte colors. And this one is such a pretty matte color. So that's by Avon as well. Okay, I've got Smashbox Vivid Violet which is a, it's not a dark purple, but it's nev nevertheless a really pretty autumn color. Got two Chi Chi Cosmetics ones. First one's called Let Me Tempt You, which is more of a, it's very close to the one I have on today, but it's got more, um, I would say, more like a, a pinkish tone in there. And this one's called Turn Me On, which is more on the purplish, pinky side. Which is that one there? The colour I'm wearing today by Revlon. They've got one, two, three, four of them are by Avon. This one is Smashbox. And then these two are Chi Chi Cosmetics. So these are all the dark colours that I have. And I did swatch these earlier to see which colour I was going to wear today. And I just absolutely love the Black Cherry by Revlon. So decide to wear that one. The closest to the black cherry I found would be the Chi Chi Cosmetics. Um, that's this one called Let Me Tempt You. It comes
comes out a bit lighter, I think, on my hand than it does on my lips because obviously I build it up, uh, I build the colour up a lot on my lips. I put a lot of layers on, uh, whereas on my hand it, it comes out a bit lighter. Don't forget to check me out on my Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. It's all under at Brithia Swaran, so it's really easy to find me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!